I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fiber of my entire being. How are you feeling right now, beautiful soul? So, how do you overcome a broken heart? You see, relationships are interesting. Relationships take us on the deepest journey. They take us on a journey of the heart into this cosmic vortex in the center of our physical body. It's not easy. The deeper we go into relationships, the more the person we're in a relationship with mirrors back to us. They show us exactly what we need to work on. And most of us don't like looking at that stuff. And the further we go, the harder it gets. We as human beings have the opportunity to achieve so much within a relationship. But a lot of the time we walk and we run the other way. Now, when you're spiritually aware and you're in tune, you can see what's happening in the relationship dynamic. And some of the time you can work your way through it, especially when both partners are aware. If they're not, quite often they separate like oil and water. They naturally go their separate ways. Now this doesn't make it easy. It really doesn't. I was married for 15 years in a relationship for almost 17 and two and a half years ago we split up. I've been through this, I know what it's like. Now, when you go through a relationship breakup, there are certain things that you can do to help yourself. And as you help yourself, you also help the person that you're breaking up from and moving into a different space from. You see, the ego gets involved and relationships are the master manipulators. Quite often, we hang on to hope and hope is dangerous. What happens is the ego gets us to focus on all of the good things that happened in the relationship and why we were with that person. It doesn't let you focus on the things that were the poison within the relationship or the potential poison that you couldn't work your way over through or around as a pair or two beautiful souls in the same environment trying to evolve spiritually within the relationship. It's really important that you don't cling on to hope, that you master your thoughts and you take control of yourself because relationship breakups, they can manipulate you so much and they can lead you into a sense of false hope where you're praying and wanting and willing for the relationship to get back together instead of just cutting a, a clean break drawing a line in the sand and moving on with your life. You can stay in pain for so long. It happens to so many people. It happened to me for a little while. Okay, for months and months, I was up and down like a yo-yo instead of drawing a line in the sand and stepping over that line and moving forwards. What breakups do is they activate the same mechanisms as an addict. And you become addicted to the things within the relationship that were great. And some people are actually addicted to the pain within the relationships, as crazy as that sounds. So when you break up from another person, a man or a woman, it activates these mechanisms, the same as a heroin addict or a, 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 a cocaine addict or someone that's addicted to pornography. Regardless of the addiction, it triggers these mechanisms and it's dangerous. And it's really important that you take control of your own self, your own spirit, your own soul, because you deserve to be happy. And your happiness is primary. You are the most important human being in your own life. And you've got to realize this. I wanna share with you six tips. Six tips that are gonna help you get over a broken heart. Tip number one is this. You've got to decide that you're the most important human being in this world, and that your happiness is primary over and above everything else. Once you decide that you're the most important human being and that your happiness, your joy, your bliss is so, so important to you and nothing should stand in its way, you can draw that line and you can decide. You've got to make a conscious decision that this is it, that you're gonna move away from that person into a new space and possibly into a new relationship but at that present moment in time, a new relationship is way beyond. All you've got to do is move away from the old one and make a final decision that that is it. Leave them, move on. 
And you know the old saying goes, if it's true love and you're meant to be with that person, they'll end up coming back to you anyway. So don't think about what's going to happen to them if, if, if they leave, what's going to happen to you if you leave, if they go and find another relationship. Maybe they need to go and find another relationship to grow in it. Maybe you need to have an experience with another man or woman too. We all have our own unique paths. So draw your line, step over and decide that you're going to move on and don't look back. Number two, what really helped me was exercise. Getting out of myself, of my space, the space that I was in, going to the gym, going for a run, getting into nature, climbing trees, doing a bit of yoga, pumping weights, hitting a punch bag. When you go and exercise, you release serotonin and dopamine, chemical neurotransmitters inside of your brain. They make you happy. When you exercise, you raise your own vibration. You get that blood pumping around your body and you've got to start moving. What a lot of people do when they break up is they sit there and they ponder, they wonder, and that does you no favors whatsoever. What you've got to do is you've got to get out, you've got to move your body, draw that line in the sand, move forward, exercise. Go out and meet new people, okay? You've just got to move. And exercise is one of the best ways to do that. I know you probably won't feel like it to start with, but even if you can just go for a walk. Go for a walk in nature. Don't take your phone. Don't take your phone because you'll be tempted to look at Facebook or Twitter, see what your partner's up to. Forget about all that stuff. Get out and exercise. Bring yourself into your body, deep into your body. Get out of here and down into here. Release those chemical neurotransmitters and raise your personal vibration. And day by day, you'll keep laying new bricks on a new path forwards into a new reality, which you're co-creating with the universe every single second, 24 seven. You get to decide, beautiful soul. Start exercising if you're going through a relationship breakup. Number three, surround yourself with good people. Surround yourself with people that love you and with people that will show you how amazing you are, how awesome and how extraordinary you are. Don't surround yourself with people that are gonna feel sorry for you and bring up your old relationship. Oh, but Jerry, how do you feel? How do you feel now? Have you spoken to her? How are the children? You know, you don't, you don't want people like that in your life. You want people that are gonna show you a new way. You want people that are gonna lift you and motivate you and take you into a new reality, not make you feel sorry for yourself or try and allow yourself to be in a space where they feel sorry for you, where you soak up all of their energy. It's not healthy. You've gotta surround yourself with good people that are gonna lift you into a new vibration and into a new space. It's mission critical. Number four, take the position of an observer. You've got to realize that you're playing a game and all of us come into this space, into this human world to dance around on this green and blue planet hovering infinite space to play a game. And relationships are a big part of that game. If you can take yourself out of the, the relationship, out of the old relationship, if you can take yourself out of your human body and look back in from a third party perspective, and observe yourself going through these emotions. Observe yourself going through this process. You will see something beautiful. You will realize that you're healing at a deep, deep level. And this relationship was utterly perfect. And the person that you encountered and engaged with, whether it was for three months, six months, four years, 15 years, 25 years, that person that you loved and probably still do love on a deep, deep level, came into your life to help you grow. When you take a step back outside of the situation, you can see this. You can look down at this big jigsaw puzzle and you can see all the pieces laid perfectly. But when you're in your head and you're thinking and you're still and you're pondering and you're wondering and you're not moving, and you're not exercising, you just go round and round in your brain. You've got to come into your body, then step outside of your body. You've got to come from a place of compassion and unconditional love for the person that you've left and also for yourself. More importantly for yourself, you've got to be compassion to number one and that is you. 
It's me and my case, you and your case. You've got to put yourself first. Be compassionate, have grace, love, and look at yourself as a master, as an intelligence, as a spiritual being, having a human experience that came to planet Earth to evolve. And the relationship that you just left, even though your heart's broken, it could be smashed to smithereens and a million pieces spread all over the universe right now, but it's perfect. When you take a step back outside and you look back in, you see this in all its glory. It really is a beautiful thing. You're like a caterpillar going into a chrysalis, sitting in the darkness, and you're gonna come through the other side, you're gonna be reborn, rebirthed as a beautiful, magnificent butterfly. You're gonna spread your wings and fly off into the world to meet new people, to have new experiences. Number five, realize that time is a healer and all things really do pass. Nothing is ever forever. Your energy, your light, your frequency, your information, your codes, your geometry, you're always flowing through the universe, through life, and you're always a complete new makeup of light, of information, of geometry and code, of energy. And because of that, you're always changing, you're always releasing. Energy moves through form, into form, back out of form and into form again. It's constantly evolving and changing and moving through time and space. So time is always a healer. It may be really painful right now, but it's gonna get better and better and better. And you will rediscover who you are. And when you do, you'll be even more empowered than when you started the relationship. You will have learnt and remembered so much about who you are as a being, as a light, and you'll be able to go out into the world and shine your beacon so brightly, like a great big sparkle, like a star here, walking around with arms and legs on planet Earth, being a beacon of light to light the path for your fellow brothers and sisters. Time is a healer. All things always pass. So drop into your heart, stop thinking, meditate, be in your heart space and just let things unfold. And I guarantee you, you will look back in a few months time and you will smile, you will laugh and you will be eternally grateful for this entire process. Number six, more than ever, focus on the present moment. Every single second of every single day, you should be doing things that fill you full of joy, that fill you full of bliss. Joy should be your natural default state, and you should be doing everything, every single second, every single moment, to raise those levels, so that when you wake up in the morning, you bounce out of bed, you fly out of bed, into the world so happy, full of joy, ready to take on the next challenge or move through the next experience. Be present. Don't think about the future. Don't think about the past. Be here right now and make sure that every single action that you take, every thought, every feeling, every emotion serves you to your greatest good, to help you with your soul's purpose here on planet Earth. Be present. Whilst you're present, you don't think about the past. There's no guilt, there's no blame, there's no judgment. There really is just now. And when you're in that space of here and now, there's just vibration, there's just frequency, there's no thoughts. Nothing exists outside of this moment. And this moment is always beautiful. There's never anything to worry about. There's never anything to be fearful of and there's never anything to blame or judge, not whilst you're present. So come out of here, down into this beautiful cosmic heart of yours and start to flourish once again. Move through this space. A broken heart is a beautiful thing. Sometimes we need to be smashed to pieces and then rebuilt. And then this can happen several times through our life, but each time we get stronger. A lot of people, they look at relationships and they crumble. They have a breakup and they never recover. That's not you. That's not me. We're powerful beings. 
We're powerful, powerful, extraordinary beings. Follow these six tips. If you're going through a relationship breakup and heartbreak right now, my heart goes out to you. But it goes out to you with strength, with courage, with confidence. Not with sorrow and pity, because I know who you are. You're a powerful being. Look in here and you'll realize it. I love you so much. I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fiber of my entire being. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel now. Please share these videos with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones. If you're watching it on Facebook, like it and share it. Together, we can make this world a much more harmonious place. We really are a family. We really are a tribe. Please visit starmagichealing.com if you want to experience the up to the minute ascension tools that are going to help you completely elevate your frequency, raise your vibration, expand your consciousness and discover your power. Starmagichealing.com, that's where it's at. I love you beautiful soul. One love, one heart, one human family. I'll see you again real soon. Peace and love.